We're back with Richard Southern to chat about some of the interesting stories of the day. And Richard, daytime TV is getting a big shakeup. Uh-oh, Dr. Phil is done, Erica. Dr. Phil said he's signing off the air after 21 seasons. And, of course, Dr. Phil brought us some such wonderful things as, you know, the Catch Me Outside Girl, all those wonderful cultural additions. Uh, McGraw's departure is just the latest a daytime show now to 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 end. I mean, we no longer have Ellen DeGeneres in daytime. Wendy Williams is gone, and of course Oprah Winfrey, who gave Dr. Phil his start in the 90s, long gone from daytime. But there are new shows coming, and Erica, I'm getting my big break. Coming to City TV middays, it's the Richie Show, and just like Dr. Phil, I'm going to listen to all your problems. And why don't okay. we start right here? Erica, do you have any problems you'd like to share with Richie? Uh, Dr. Richard, I think uh, there's this one of my colleagues. I have to work with him every day, but he bothers me so much. How do I deal mm -hmm. with that? It's not a he has like a goatee, uh, colleague. Yeah, he's usually well, at home remotely. <laughs> Listen, Dr. Ritchie says some people are misunderstood. He's probably a bit misunderstood. I wouldn't worry too much about him. That's Dr. Ritchie's uh, opinion. I will take note of that. Okay, it isn't a big surprise to hear that drug use has risen during the pandemic, but what is a bit surprising is which age groups have increased their usage. Yeah, they crunched the numbers, Erica, and surprise, surprise, many of us were getting totally wasted uh, during the, the pandemic. Uh, alcohol use was up. Tobacco use was up. Uh, in fact, uh, we saw big gains in younger adults. I guess that's not too much of a surprise, right? Your marijuana use increasing in adults uh, between 25 and 40 by 1.2%. And uh, alcohol usage up 5% also in the sort of young adult age group. The younger teens, though, actually didn't see a lot of additional drug or alcohol use. Uh, interestingly enough, tobacco use among all age groups was down during the pandemic compared to the two years prior. Mm. You and I didn't have that luxury of uh, getting uh, lightly toasted during the pandemic, Erica. We were on the air uh, all the time. We missed out on we all that. We were huh? on the air. We're working all the way through it. And here we are. Okay. Uh, finally, a song from the 1970s is making a big comeback. Uh, yes, it is Linda Ronstadt's 1970 hit, uh, long, long time that is now blazing up the charts again, and streams of it on Spotify have spiked 4,700%. The reason? It was featured in the newest hit show that all your friends might be talking about called The Last of Us, Erica. Have you been watching The Last of Us? I have not. I guess I'm not. I'm not with it. <laughs> I'm not watching it too much either. Your video game playing friends might be into this. Um, it, it's based on, and there's Linda's big hit in the 70s. That's not a bad song, Erica. It was actually featured as in this Last of Us show as a favorite song among a couple who played it throughout their bittersweet dystopian romance. The show is based on a video game about survivors of a fungus-fueled zombie apocalypse. Oh, goodness. And speaking of the pandemic, Erica, we've had more than enough global uh, virus apocalypses, which is why I'm not into The Last of Us. So hopefully we're, you and I aren't missing anything. It's a now. very melancholy song. I think I'd have to be in a certain mood to listen to it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Dr. Ritchie. Dr. Ritchie would help you out <laughs> right. if you got sad Dr. during Dr. Ritchie. Okay, thanks, Dr. Ritchie. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Signing off. See you tomorrow.